Hello. Um, this pairing is very suspect. I'm just I don't know saying. what you mean. Why? What are you talking about? What have, do you think? I have yeah. seen the We're first to figure it out. Yeah. Mm. couple of episodes of season four. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, um, Brandon, let's talk about Quintus. What's going, what's going on <laughs> with him? Let's chat. Yes. What's happening? Let's chat. You know, just good you? people doing good things. <laughs> That's all. Good uh, no. Quintus, I think... Um, uh, as you know, is, is sort of a, like a Roman magistrate uh, mm -hmm. in the world of the Chosen. And for the you know the previous three seasons, there's been some pressure building, and obviously in season four, something breaks. Um, and I think that's going to be shocking for the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, it was shocking for me. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, what was your reaction when you read what was going to happen? Oh my, oh my gosh, I, I had to like get up and pace around my room. I was like texting Dallas, like I know I've been saying that he should do something, but are you? Hey man, are you? Sure. <laughs> I think I texted Dallas something that yeah. I can't repeat. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I was boy. like, hey, Dallas, what? Honestly, I didn't even know anything. I mean, we we kind of already had it planned. I didn't have it planned. Dallas and the writers had it planned. Um, Dallas, Ryan, and Tyler. But and they had told me beforehand. But it wasn't until everyone started asking me, Did you read? Did you read? I was like, Well, now I know. Gosh, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I found out. No. <laughs> You're like, how dare you? Thank you for spoiling it. No. <laughs> My natural reaction. Um, yes, um, I, this season starts off with such a bang, and we are heading into some really dark territory, as we're kind of hinting at a little bit. Um, and I want to ask you, outside of that, when you're filming this show, was there ever a moment, Yaz, where you are learning a lesson through your character that really kind of blended into your life? I love that you asked this um, because it's it's I love talking about it. So it's uh, Rayma's just gusto for life that I didn't realize how much that impacted me in my real life, um, or just in my life as mm -hmm. a person. I my real life and my fake life. <laughs> so it's it's going just through the daily ordinary moments in life and finding the joy in them. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I'm not perfect at this in any way, but whenever I do lead that way, it's, I mean, I just enjoy life so much more. And so I just know that that, that comes from playing Rayma. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And Brandon, what have you learned not to do through <laughs> Quintus? That is exactly right, though. <laughs> it, you know, Quintus, in, in the way that, you know, Rayma is, is, is teaching uh, Yaz about, like, sort of a lust for life, you know? Uh, Playing Quintus is almost always a cautionary tale, right? Mm -hmm. And the thing that I, 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 I learned the most is, I, I've talked about this before, where much like me, Quintus is a part of something much bigger that he doesn't understand, and I am too, which would be this show and this sort of global phenomenon that it is. I can't understand it all. But Quintus tries to control what he doesn't understand, and I think I've learned from him that that's not maybe the best way to go about it that I can write it, I can harness it, I can use it, I can observe it, but controlling it is not in my purview, yeah. and I don't need to do that. You're like, let it go. That's exactly right. You're a little bit of Elsa, that right? Is, that is exactly <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Um, I wanna ask you, because you guys have so many more eyes on you now. You're going into the theaters again, you're on the CW, you know, you're on every streaming platform. For those that might be on the fence, and feel free to tag the team this if you'd like to, how, what would you say to them to bring them into The Chosen? There's a reason why a historical drama is one of the most watched shows on the planet. It's because the relationships depicted are real and human, and they are portrayed and created with pathos, with feeling, with humor, with irony. Uh, and that's what makes it sort of relatable to all these folks. So I would say, come on in, the water's fine. If you don't want a, a, a show about Jesus, then then maybe have a show about the people who surrounded the most important historical figure in the last several thousand years. I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I mean, to sum that up, it's about you. It's yeah. about everybody. So yeah, it's that That's relatable, right. I feel like. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. And then, Yaz, I would love to offer my last 30 seconds to you. If there's anything that you would like to say to the fans of the show about your character for season four. Oh, um, I, I just hope that the fans take what Rama has taught me really, of just really appreciating life, going after the things that that you feel so strongly about, not feeling judged by, by anybody else about your decisions, 
Um, and sometimes those are hard decisions to make, especially if, if you're going against the grain of, for instance, like your family. But to always follow your gut.